As Article 27 is written, sh uh, three new DPW employees. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to erase and appropriate the sum of $68,000 for the purpose of employing and equipping three full-time employees for the Town of Hampton Department of Public Works. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation for RSA 3276 and shall not elapse until the hiring is completed or by March 31st, 2018, which is ever sooner. This is the same or similar uh, Warren article that we brought forward for the last, uh, this will be the third year. Um, the previous two years, I, I believe there was some, um, as I say, concessions made, give and take, and this, this article actually never really made it forward to the town board article. It goes back to the, if you will, the, the root of the problem in that for those 12 to 13 weeks during the summer, I, I really don't have, the town does not really have a highway department. Everybody's on solid waste, period. Um, we looked at, you know, why is this situation continuing to occur? Uh, when we originally instituted the solid waste program five years ago, we bought 10,000 carts. We've handed out, and we continue to buy carts every single year. There's a $10,000 line the budget to buy more carts. Well, we buy those carts and um, we've handed them up. The town has, has, at least the solid waste portion of our job has grown to the point we're picking up just under 15,000 carts a day, or in the course of a week, we pick them all up once, but yes, uh, some of them more than once. Um, but we're, we're picking up in excess of 15,000 carts. Um, day after day during those 13 weeks, they literally come in, you know, five minutes before the end of their, their shift or 15 minutes after the end of their shift because they're just straight out all day long. Um, so I don't have anybody to go around and trim brush, put up uh, signs. Uh, earlier this summer, you passed a Warren article to um, uh, change signs on Ann's Terrace to change the, uh, to put a stop sign in, speed limit sign, and to move the two uh, do not enter signs. The work didn't get done for almost eight weeks because it occurred like in June, early July. And I explained to the to the residents who asked you for it that, yeah, I'll get to it, and I've got the signs, I'll order them, but I don't have a sign crew because they're, they're all working, doing that. Uh, immediately after Seafood Festival, up until this past Tuesday, the Tuesday before uh, Thanksgiving, we were still milling and patching potholes. Why do we do it in that time period? Because that's the only time period where we have. It's the only time period we have for a crew to do it because uh, it's a th three, and f three to five man operation depending on the streets. So things are, are just not getting done. We're, we are maxed out workload wise with the people that we have. Um, we're, just, we're just not getting it done. So um, for the th third time, and, and, and uh, I'm confident in the $68,000 number because uh, Teresa put it together. She looked at the wage rate schedule where they'd be starting, and this is just uh, hourly wage. It's not uh, health insurance, it's not benefits or anything else, but we need at least three other people so that we can have a highway crew during the summer, a four to five man highway crew. Right now, some days Al Jones is the highway crew, and all he can literally do is fasten a bolt on a stop sign or attend to a fallen branch or I mean it can be branch, right. whatever is needed it becomes priority exactly. we go into priority mode I mean I literally have even like the sewer and drain division now doing some of the highway divisions work because a it's an emergency it has to get done and B I have nobody else to do it so this is we have a waste this is how we're, we're operating I would offer this mr. chairman is that so uh, um, it's going to be an extraordinary pressure um, with uh, both the school uh, requests and the municipal requests. And then I'm hearing uh, about brush. I'm hearing about putting up signs. Those do not rise to the level of some of the uh, exigencies that we have. Um, there are uh, um, 
many subcontractors for services. We talk about Jamco to remove snow. Uh, there are many uh, landscapers out here. There are many people that uh, we can subcontract without um, pension benefits, without health care. If someone comes in that's hired and has a family plan, uh, that could be $30,000 a year. Um, so these numbers, um, while they, they just reveal salary, um, could be triple. Uh, is that $68,000 an annual figure or, or a partial figure? The annual figure. That's the annual figure. So it's it's not reflective. It, it could double with benefits and pension costs. And uh, the, the level that I'm hearing from the director and assistant director is for putting up signs, for cutting brush. And that's always been the way it's been. You and I both work for Public Works. It's stressed out, and I don't support putting full-time employees on the town of Hampton to cut brush and to uh, put up signs at this juncture. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm going to agree with Selectman Bean, and I hate to because I, I know you need the I know you need the people, uh, and you know, and I hate to bring this up, but this is reality. Solid waste pickup is overwhelming the town. Mm -hmm. It's got to be looked at again at some point, and I know that a couple of years ago people said they wanted it, but it. You're overwhelming a department <coughs> with one function, and that really needs to be, and you have a lot of questions on it, on other issues, that really needs to be looked at. But on this issue, I agree with, with Selectman Bean, I'd, I'd much rather fight for the sewers than right now for, for new employees. I'm sorry, but that's... Well... I, the way I feel is, this is the third or fourth or fifth time that this has come up. Their work is not getting any less. It is getting more. And we've seen the fact that stuff is not getting done because they have to do this. Didn't the, um, was it, he's not, who's the guy that was the, not the engineer, but that went out, was on the, one of the Packers at one day picking up trash this summer? Oh, our engineering technician this summer. Right. We lost him for half the summer just Because he was out trash. on a trash truck picking up trash. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure there was a lot of other important stuff that he could have been doing instead of picking up trash. I know it's, you, you hear that it's just signs, but it's also potholes. It's also the sides of the roads. It's the, the brush. And that's the stuff that we're letting go. And we let go the sewer line on Route 1 for years and years and years. And now it's coming back to bite us. We can't keep letting go all these projects. Um, it's been a long time since we put any new manpower on in this town, especially in the public works. We've heard time and time again, this is the one department that needs the manpower. And I, I support this warrant article. Um, i like to, when was the, can I ask the question, when was the last time that we've actually staffed public works? I've been here five years. It's always been 41 people. And now we have condos, you know, potential development down in the western part of town. Approving for signs to get put up and then they're not getting put up for legitimate reason. There's no one to put them up. You know, explaining to the taxpayers that the signs that you want didn't get put up because our engineers are picking up trashes. Chairman Bridal stated. So I think that we should put it out there and we need to let the town look at it again. With everything that's gone on the past year, with things that have been requested and had to wait on for the reason that you just don't have enough manpower. Mm -hmm. And I think that I support this article that it goes to town meeting and that the voters can decide on what they want to do with it. How many feet of road have we put in in the past five or six years? New roads. How many new houses are on those roads that we need to pick up? How many new sewer lines and sewer connections that we need to maintain and take care of? Yeah. You know, uh, it's, all, it's all true, but again, it's a larger picture that we're not, that we're not dealing with. That number, that number $68,000 is not the true cost. Yeah, it's, it's a larger, larger picture that the larger picture is not being dealt with. And that's, and that's the, the trash issue. That, that why should a whole department, DPW, be dealing solely with trash. And I, and I know that's a very touchy subject, and but 
We've dealt with that in the past, and, and, we, I, and, and it's come and up many times in the past, and many times that has failed. Then, then what? But I agree with Selectman Bean, too, that this, it's 68000 That doesn't include benefits. This could double under benefits. And, and Mr. Welch, if I could ask you, what, what is our responsibility to the taxpayers on this one on, to put 68000 That means for three people, what's the math, $22,000 a person? About that, yeah. Okay, and then you add uh, the pension contribution for your class of employees is what, 10 points, 15 points? 7.4. 7.4. There's another 5,400 in that. Health insurance, if you hire three family guys, you're at uh, another 60,000. And, and we have an obligation to have those two costs in the warrant, and they then, can't be excluded. Then let's send it back, and, and, and why don't you see what those costs would be? Talk with the financial people and see if we can bring it back so we have an actual cost of this. What about part-time? That's what the 68000 looks like, part-time, not full-time. Well, I could possibly know one or two candidates that live in Hampton that might be interested in a part-time position with Public Works. So would that be something that... We did a couple of years ago have two part-time people, but with the board's approval, we mended, melded those into one permanent person. Because this guy, he's retired, you know, just looking and, and for something do, to do. We already use a part-time person at the transfer station. We use a uh, part-time person uh, in the wastewater treatment plant, and we do have... Uh, part-time in the mechanics division. Right. We even I mean, we'll have for them. Three. four... What we do with them and then? College age kids that we hire to work in, the, in, in solid waste during the summer. That is part of the budget. But, okay. Yeah, and, and that may be a partial solution to this is that we hire more part timers. So why don't we move it along till it's decided if they're going to be part time or what is the real price for full time? So hold this one and come yeah, back. Yeah, we'll with pull that back and come back with it. Why don't we come back too with the cost of contracting the work out? Mm hmm. Contracting the positions out? No, the roadside mowing, the sign put up, and da 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 da, da. All the stuff that you're trying to get done but you can't get to. Yeah, we'd like to see a third party possibly do it. Okay, so the next.